Are you a service-based business owner looking to increase profits to fund your lifestyle? Well, this podcast is for you. We bring you inspirational guests sharing actionable tips to solve many of the struggles you face each and every day. And now, over to your host, Paul Higgins. Hi, Paul here. Before we get into the show, would you like to make a great first impression on LinkedIn? If so, I have something just for you. When people search for your name on Google, your LinkedIn profile will normally come up first. Before meeting someone for the first time, how often do they view your LinkedIn profile? For many coaches and consultants I begin to work with, their profiles don't do them any justice. I've created a simple solution where you can whip your profile into shape to have your best foot forward when attracting new clients on LinkedIn. Go to blgdownload.com, so that's blgdownload.com to get your five killer tips today. Hello to the Build, Live, Give solo podcast, episode number 231. If it is your first time, welcome. And if you love what you hear, please subscribe. If you're a regular, thanks for your support. Let me know a topic you would like me to cover. Just email me at paul at buildlivegive.com. I'd like to dedicate this podcast to my mum, Moira Higgins, from who passed away on the 18th of July 2019 of kidney failure. Mum had polycystic kidney disease, PKD. It is a 50-50 at birth in our family, or certainly from mum's side of the family. My brother has it, and my children are yet to be tested, but most of mum's relatives have had PKD and passed from it. The release date of this podcast coincides with PKD Awareness Day. PKD is a genetic disorder that causes many fluid-filled cysts in the kidney. These cysts can change the shape of your kidneys, always enlarging them. This ultimately leads to kidney failure. For me, they have grown to about the size of a soccer ball, and some of them weigh up to 25 kilos each. So if you go onto YouTube and look, it's just, I cannot believe how people could function with kidneys that large. Mine weren't that big, but they were certainly made me look like I was uh, you know, six months pregnant. In the world, it impacts one in every 400 to 1,000 people. There's at least 500,000 people that have it in the US and around 25,000 in Australia. And according to the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases, NIDDK, what an absolute mouthful. But according to them, they're the stats. There's no prevention for PKD. I walked out of my doctor's aged 18 to see my mum in the car park. I didn't have to say a word. She knew. She was heartbroken and blamed herself. She watched her dad pass when she was 12 and she suffered a heart attack at a very young age. She knew my life was changed forever at that moment. It was in that moment of adversity I decided to look for hope. I became high performing in all aspects of my life. This was something I could take control of. I will fast forward to 2011 when my specialist suggested leaving corporate to prolong my kidney function. On average, you can live 10 years on dialysis and 20 years with a transplant. The longer I lasted with my poorly functioning kidneys, the greater the chance of seeing my grandchildren. I was close to a model patient and did what was asked of me. Well, within reason. Giving up alcohol and my favorite food, I thought was a pretty small price to pay. I created a business I could run from anywhere, preparing for the inevitable kidney failure. I love to be in control, just ask my family, in particular my wife. But the pace of decline is unique to each person. For seven years, I fought hard and the sense of not knowing when I was you know, when it was actually going to happen was very mentally draining for me. At the same time, I was watching my mum fighting for her life with multiple complications due to the time that she'd had this condition. She never complained, and it really put my fight into perspective. I built a new house and prepared for the best and the worst case scenarios for my family. On the 4th of November 2018, I went in for a regulation nephrectomy, which is removal of a kidney. And for me, as I said, it was about the size of a soccer ball to create room for the new one. And to be honest, at that time, I didn't know who I was going to get a new one from, but it was all going to happen. Let's just say it didn't go to plan when I woke up 
in ICU being told I had only just pulled through and I had a cut from one side of my body to the other. Well, it actually looks like a shark bite. And this is a great entertainment for my children's unassuming friends. I'm, you know, my kids now can't uh, keep a straight face when I talk about how I got attacked and how it's only on one side and not the other. It's uh, very humorous. But to be honest, I was so close to, to passing then. It was, um, yeah, it, it's a time that um, I'll never, never forget. I recovered slowly whilst continuing to work from my hospital bed. The business I had built to run from anywhere was essential for my mental stability. I went on dialysis three days a week for four and a half hours a session and wrote my book, Build, Live, Give. In February 2019, my best friend Brendan donated his kidney and it couldn't have gone smoother. He was out in two days, I was out in four days, very different from my first op. I'll never know, but I got the sense mum hung around to see all of this play out. A small way of mending her broken heart from some 31 years earlier. I have many reasons to be thankful for what PKD has given me. It's given me a unique bond with my mum where we shared our experiences as we both went through this condition. We also shared the same birthday. A gift from Brendan I can never repay him for. The opportunity to leave corporate to run my business and help people globally. I would not have met the people that I have without having made that change. The opportunity to see amazing healthcare workers at their best. And I really feel for them at the moment in COVID times, but they are such amazing people doing brilliant work and a lot of it is very unselfish work. The next is the ability to embrace technology to work from anywhere before it became the new norm. You know, I had my seven pairs of tracksuit pants that I'd rotate each day while most people were still, you know, dressing up and going to work. And the last one is the tenacity of living with 6% kidney function. Think of your worst hangover 24-7. That's what I had to put up with every day. Now, little things become a lot simpler to deal with. In a time where many of us face enormous adversities, there is hope. I would like you to do one key action from today's podcast. Please register to become an organ donor. Put hope in someone's life. If you know someone who needs some hope, please share this with them. Please take action to increase your profit to fund your lifestyle and most importantly, stay well. Thanks for listening to the Build Live Give podcast. If you like what you heard, please share it and leave us a review. It would mean the world to us.